Hello, 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 and everybody, welcome to Virtual Earth Survival. So, this is uh, a developer's version of uh, this game, and as noted, it's a survival game, and it's scheduled for full release on November the 1st, uh, so there's a couple of features missing from this, but I was just asked to sort of play it and review it and see what I thought. Day one. The sun rises on the first day. The music is really nice. And, like, as someone who uh, does graphics on occasion, I really appreciate the level of detail gone into, like, uh, the texture for, like, the bushes and the trees. Like, from a, from a distance, they look pretty real. And I think that's something that can be improved upon as, like, you gain skill as a uh, developer is, uh, like, because <sighs> cause whenever I look at vegetation and stuff in video games, my mind always goes back to Dragon Age Inquisition as, like, the ultimate sort of, like, this is beautifully rendered vegetation that is, it's just impeccable. You can't even tell where the polygons are in it. But um, this, to me, looks sort of like a more realistic Minecrafty vibe, because you can sort of see the blocks in uh, the soil here. And, oh, oh yeah, definitely. Um, and you can tell that we have like a sort of pickaxe thing, a pickaxe hoe thing selected. It would be sort of neat if, like, we had arms rendered in the game, like Minecraft does, just so you could see... Whoa, hello. Why did I go so fast? What you're doing? Ooh. Bit of a harder material. But, yeah. Wait. How did I lose two health hearts? How th What happened? I don't remember losing that. Let's see. Um... Okay, so one gets you to your inventory. Rock. Stone. But that that's clearly corn. And that's clearly a tomato. What? Like. Oh. You can only plant crops on dirt. Okay, so it actually is a plant. Oh. What? Oh, oh, this is cool. This is cool. Hold on, hold on. I wonder if I can kill myself by falling from this kind of height. Ooh, what's over there? I saw something interesting over there. Okay, okay. No, you, you don't have to. Okay. Daisies. That is adorable. What's some sort of silt? Hmm. So confusing. Let's see, fertilizers, sandstone, patch grass, meadow grass, forest grass, rich soil. Okay, so that's forest grass. Why is whoop? All right. Why is there forest grass like right here in the middle of a bunch of what is this? Sand? Yeah, that's that's a little weird. Doesn't quite make sense. Oh, am I hungry? Is that why I'm losing hearts? Well, this version of the game, you can... Oh, hold on. Okay, so it wasn't because I ran over the cactus. Ooh, hello. Can... Oh, this is what I've collected. Okay. Aluminum? What? 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 Oh, I guess because just so you're able to build things, you have so much in your inventory. Cactus? Ha... Oh. What? So, I picked up a cactus, and when I right-click to put it down, it gives me daisies. That's a little weird. Okay, what about that? Okay, so cactus and daisies are apparently the same thing in this universe. At least I know I don't lose health if I run over it. And I saw the hearts jump. And there goes another one! Okay, that makes sense. 
All right, so like when the hearts jump, that's a warning that you're gonna lose some health. Let's see. So what was that I just gathered? Palm? What happens if I... Hey, hello, Palm. What's this? Now it says 100, but it only had one in there. So like, ooh, berry bush. My reticule is nowhere near that palm tree. Huh. Ooh. Oh. Hello. Wait, question, question. What? Ah, okay. So it takes 10 of the stated units to make one block? Weird. Doesn't make much sense to me, but okay. Chemicals? Linseed oil. Interesting. So I'm gonna try... Alright. Oh, there's already a crop there. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. A tiny little baby crop. I kind of want to crouch so I can get a better view of it, but I apparently can't crouch. I'm just gonna plant a shit ton of tomatoes everywhere. So that's a big question. Like, this version... Oh, aw, well, I am planting it on dirt, at least I thought I was. Yeah, see, lots of little tomatoes in the dirt. So you can't harvest anything right now. The jumping is weird. Okay, so if you hold space, you just kind of bounce in place. That's kind of adorable. Look at that, look at that. Boop -a -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> oh, what was that song? What was that song? Oh, about the rabbit. Oh, no. I, all I'm getting is I'm a little teapot short and stout and that is not it. Huh. So. Weird. So we're swimming in the water and yet when we make a click with the reticule, like it'll get the dirt that's way down there. I don't think that's necessarily something that should be happening. Like, I think there should be a lot more of a distance. Like, not distance, but, like, distance should be a factor. Because, like, look at, look at this. Oh, okay, okay. So I can't get anything that far away, but right there. Like, I think even that's, like, a little bit too far away. That can be exploited pretty easily by someone who knows what they're doing. Ooh, I found clay! Neat. <laughs> um, but also, this looks like fresh water. This is a good source of fresh water. I can't drink it. It's probably just because this is an earlier version. And, like, there's a version of this uh, game, the developer's version, uh, where you can harvest crops. I don't know if they have any animals in it yet, but uh, I would like to harvest crops. I just haven't been able to get a hold of it. What? I wasn't aiming at that tree. I was aiming at this block. Gold! There's gold in these down, them, them there hills. I can do quotes. I know how to quote. Copper, interesting. Metals can be exchanged for goods and services. That's a slightly annoying thing though when you're focusing off this way and bam, goodbye tree. Like, that that's something that I think could be fixed. Random tomatoes everywhere. What are these? Oh, they're so pretty. I love these. Show me, what are they? What are they? Ooh, hello, gold. Oh, canola! You can make canola oil with these. That's clever. I like that. Oh, I'm losing health rapidly. There's no way to get past the first day as, as it is, as it stands. Is this more gold? Neat. Because I don't think you could, uh, 
plant and grow crops just within like the first day because I don't think there's enough time for the crops to grow. So if you had fish in this area and you could somehow like craft a fishing pole out of like a tree or sapling or something that you uh, found, that would be neat. Or if you could spear fish, spearing fish would be good. Like, because I can see like there's a crafting thing, but I'm not sure if there's like a crafting menu. Do, 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 do. Pressing all the buttons, nothing's happening. Uh, oh, whoop, that, that just, that just closed the game down. Whoopsie. Ta-da, and we have full health. And I get to show off the night sky, which I didn't get to show you guys before, because look at that. That is a beautifully drawn galaxy. I really appreciate that. I want to see where the sun is. Where, here comes the sun. Da -da -da -da. Here comes the sun, and I say, it's all right. Woo. Already we lost a health thing. That's sad. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out where the sun is. Because we can sort of see from up here the four corners of the world. And I want to know if I can track the sun in the sky to know how far the day is. Because that's a useful skill to have in these sorts of things. I feel like the sun is coming from that direction. But I'm not sure. It's like ever present. And there are these towers, like there's that tower over there and that, whoop, hello, that tower way off in the distance over there. I wonder if there's anything on them. Hello. Ah, that looks like that could be a salt water biome, like a tide pool sort of area. That looks like it would be good for crabs. Let's see. But this would probably be more fresh water. It's a little ways away from the beach and whatever tidal forces there might be. And forest, a deciduous forest. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, this is so Minecraft. Just like the having the trees float in the air whenever you chop them instead of falling down. That's very Minecraft. Huh. I like the way though that when you're chopping it, like it shows you, like, like inside there you can see sort of, I mean, yeah the polys are a little bit messed up because tree rings are circular but when you click on it you can see the bark giving way sort of as you're taking it down. Beep. Again, random blocks of forest soil in the middle of everything else. Yeah, see, over there the forest soil makes sense. Okay. I wonder why this biome is so, like, abundant and, so, like, gold on the surface anyways. You would expect gold to be, like, further down in the hills when you're, uh, digging into them and everything. Huh. Anyways, my current goal is to get over there to where the, where the tower is and see if there's anything interesting in it. And I don't know whether it's faster to go on land or by a sky. Oh, I like this. I like this. Because you can see like a gentle changing into the forest soil. That's neat. Like there's an option to craft things, but I've yet to find a crafting menu, which is sort of disappointing. This is sort of disappointing, not having a crafting menu. Hey, look, gold. Lots of gold. How did I miss that? All right, trees. Trees are everywhere. Because one thing I like is that when you're in the forest, you can't really tell the, the polygons apart at all. Like, you can sort of see the X's from up here, but when you are actually down in the forest, it's just foliage. Foliage everywhere. Another sort of thing it would be nice to have in a game like this is like a hunger and thirst bar. When you're able to satiate those uh, needs. Because otherwise, what's your metric for, like how hungry you are, how close you are to starting to lose the health you have. And there would definitely need to be items that would... Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was stuck in the water for a bit and I wasn't able to move forward. But there would have to be items that you would have to have to increase your health again, and I don't know if food would do that or if it would be like a health pack or something that you would make. 
or like a health poultice with like herbs and stuff. Hello, random tower in the middle of nowhere. What? Whoa. Let me stand on you. Oh, gosh. No. Oh, okay. Almost fell there. Oh, there we go. Hello. All right. So that's a forest block. What is? What was that? What was that? Marble? Is it marble? Nope. Marble's very pretty though. I wish I had more marble. <gasps> diamond? <gasps> I love diamond. Can you make diamond swords? Diamond pickaxes, diamond everything. That would be neat. I never got why diamond was purple in, in uh, Minecraft, honestly. Huh, but this would be a great place to make a fort. It really would. I won't survive long enough to make any sort of forts, but whatever, it's fine, it's fine. Bauxite? Bauxite, neat. I love the textures for these boxes. And sulfur, like, it feels a little weird to have such high, ooh, 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 that's so pretty. It's so weird to have these like highly textured blocks in a game like this. Like, I think there's a way you could make the aesthetic work pretty. But it just, it, it's so weird. Cause like the polygons and everything are so simple, but your textures are amazing. Really, really amazing. Oh, farming soil. Neat. Okay, so question. Okay. Ooh. So soils have a slope to them that you can do. Come on. Sort of, kind of. Oh, no. Ah! I was falling into the sea. I'm sort of wondering if I can use the soil to make sort of a base, just to build up enough to sort of work with here. Yeah, because we're sort of building out a little bit. Ah, uh, maybe not. Oh, nope. <laughs> uh, not into the sea. Now that's weird. That's very weird. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's neat though. Yeah, because no you wouldn't necessarily need to have uh, textures on the undersides of these if they're always going to be stacked like on top of each other like they are like that but it's also kind of weird not to have a texture on the bottom just in case someone decides to do something freaky like this huh I wonder if there's like a cheat I could do for like infinite Ooh, hello infinite uh, health that would be super useful Woo. oh I'm just replacing everything with dirt. <laughs> but it won't let me build up more, because it's like, there's already dirt here, and I'm like, bitch, please. Uh, rich soil? No, oh, I know, I know. Maybe it won't let me build up with more unless I have, like, yeah, okay. All right, all right, this works. Okay, so it won't let you build with more dirt, but you could use dirt as sort of like a base to build out more with wood and stuff which works which works that's fair oh no i don't have enough dang it okay okay all right ah eventually i'll have enough of a leg to stand on ah no there oh no i thought i thought i could stand on it can i not because i'm trying to get enough of a platform to where i can easily sort of stand on it and see what there is to see in the world but like if there's not a bunch of dirt and stuff built up under it, you'll just fall right through. And that's kind of sad. That's kind of sad because I'm trying to build out here and make a, make a nice little tower fort thing. It's a little bit difficult and I have no idea what I'm doing. What? Is it because we're out on the edge of the world that those things wouldn't go through? I wonder if I build up... Yeah, can I sit on that tower of three? Okay, yeah, so if there's like two or three blocks, it'll hold you just fine. And I wonder if I get down there again. Oh, they won't let me down. Okay, hold on. Those out of the way. And I come back down here. Nope. Huh. It's so hard to judge where you're standing when you don't have any legs. Ooh, this is funky new music. Ah, I didn't want to put that there. There we go. 
so difficult to whoa, put put down blocks like this because you have to be kind of jumping around in the floaty options. And the, oh, that music was so good, but it was so short. Ah, uh, once again, beautiful, beautiful galaxies. That's interesting. I can see the polygons coming together right there. That's neat. Oh, we're about to die. Oh no. It's not like we can really do anything about it in this version. I'm just happy I'm no longer falling through the floor. Ah, hello. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Question, question. If I... Okay, I was wondering what was happening there because I wondered if I'd held it and that had caused it to sort of do the thing. Oh, we're get, oh, we're dying. Oh no. Oh no, death is upon us. Oh no. Well, at least I have this beautiful tower. I can overlook all of creation. Heartbeat really does induce a sense of urgency with all this. So I was kind of sitting here waiting to die, and I guess the death mechanic is not really implemented just yet. Because, like, otherwise, it would be day before dessert. But I have another question that I want answered. So we have this tower built up over here. Uh, and the heartbeat's gonna get really annoying, but I wonder... Yeah. Because you can just dig the rocks out from under it, and it won't collapse. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, I'm under the water. How do I get out of the water? Ah! Oh no, I'm stuck! Ah, no! Release me! Tea is not helping. Oh no, I'm stuck underwater. Oh, dang it. It's because I screwed with the tower. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. Can you swim down, I wonder? No, no, you can't really swim down. Nor can you swim up. This is a problem. This is a problem. I found a glitch. <laughs> Interesting. In a game like this, you should be able to swim underwater, though. Just to get the things you need. And to catch the fish you need. But, oh, hello! Okay. Jumping solved it. Jumping can can get you out of that situation. That's good. That's good. But yeah, like the fact that you can you can't really put dirt down, but you can put blocks down in the middle of the air. I wonder. All right, all right. So let's say tile, mud, mud, tile. <gasps> Neat. Oh, I love it. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, that. That could be great for designing, like, a kitchen. Um, but you can't really put a block down in the middle of the air. You have to have something else for it to connect with. So it only makes sense that if... Oh, gosh. If you were to take the blocks out from under an object, that it would all collapse with it. Just going by the game's physics. <laughs> Stay out of the water, Jimmy! That's weird, though. Hey, what's... There's sort of like a barrier here. Like, do you see that weird stuff going on? Oh, hey, it refilled my health bar. Neat. And again, random, random, oh, what is that? What is that? Weird, do you see that graphical glitch down there? I wonder if that's recording. Interesting, I wanna get closer to it, but I can't really get there. Oh, that's neat, you can like, have an infinite sort of pathway down of like grass tiles. Weird. Huh. And there's no like oxygen limit either, so you can't really like have problems breathing underwater, I guess, because you don't have swimming mechanics in there. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. But that tower, that tower in the distance there would be perfect for like some sort of plot thing. Maybe like an overseer of this island, like if, if there's generally any sort of plot. Like, someone who's, like, watching over everything and mysterious person in the tower. It would be a goal to go out there and see what's up and then have a lot of obstacles to get here. But, I don't know. Because what the devs of this are going for is, like, an open-world sandbox type of thing, which would be really neat. But there's a lot of stuff that needs to get worked on first, I think. Whoop. And I don't know if it's, like, their open-world MMO sort of style thing that's coming out in November, or if it's just, like, single-player versions of this. Which would be neat. I have no idea what type of biome this is, but it just entertains me that I can, like, walk along all day and just sort of, like, 
dig myself a path of destruction. Oh. Hmm. Oh, oh, like, that's weird. Okay, yeah, because for a second there, like, there, th like, this is a type of dirt, right? And so the dirt is sort of sloping up into other biomes. And one thing that puzzled me was, like, we had dirt. We put dirt down, but we couldn't put more dirt down because there wasn't any, uh, like, like, that, it says we're already dirt. So, I don't know how the biome exactly stacks up. Nope. Yeah, because you can't put farming dirt down because there's already dirt here. So I wonder if you'd have to, like, pull out a bunch of this. And, like, now, now it sort of allows you to put down dirt. But it's, like, putting down dirt in that weird way where it's trying to slope up into uh, the other stuff. But it doesn't take into account the fact that there's, like, another piece of dirt over there. So, like, I don't know how you would program that because I'm not very big at programming. But there would be, there would have to be some sort of solution to where you could build up dirt after it's already been put down. So it's not like a hole, <laughs> a hole, <laughs> and it sort of evens itself out. Oh. Weird, very weird. Look at that graphical glitch. <laughs> I love breaking things. And see, it it let me put dirt here for whatever reason. I guess because I dug some out. Weird. Doesn't make much sense to me. Doesn't make much sense. Cause when you when you take out like a little bit of this type of dirt, it's perfectly fine. Like it works pretty well. But not when you take out uh, weird. Very strange. Okay. So, like, taking out, like, a whole 9x9 nine nine section and trying to fill it up with the dirt what doesn't work, but if you, like, go by little bits by little bits, it's fine. It's weird. Let's put some tomato right there. Tomato! And some corn. Hmm, the sprouts sort of look the same at this point. Oh! Are they growing? Oh! Oh, in the farming soil, we can actually watch it grow. I, I couldn't tell if it was growing in the other one. And so, fertilizer? Oh, yes! Okay, so a couple of corns disappeared, but the tomatoes seem happy. Oh, no! I just wanted to give you fertilizer. Grow, corn, grow. Right, tomatoes like fertilizer. Corn does not. For whatever reason. Or maybe you were supposed to put the fertilizer down first? Gosh, I want to crouch. <laughs> and that is so freaky. Is that graphical glitch recording? Because that is fun. Yeah, while we're sitting here watching the plants grow, it's like watching paint dry on a wall, like, I was thinking, because they're going to input animals in here. Oh, you can see the little tomatoes! Ah, yay! I don't know if they're ripe yet. I mean, they look red, but are they ripe? We don't know. But, um, like, they're going to put in animals in here, and I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work with their style of graphics. Like, would the animals be blocky, like the soil and dirt is? Uh... I'm not sure how that would work, because the devs have got some, like, nice rounded trees over here, like, the the polygons for the trunks of the trees are nice and rounded. So it's like, int oh no, they're not! Or, no, these are saplings. No, those saplings are just, like, two polygons, sort of, like, wedged into each other. But let me go look at these trees over here. Could those be aloe? Aloe plants to heal your wounds? Aloe plants are great, great for healing wounds and stuff, but yeah. Let's see. Yeah, because that helps differentiate everything from each other. 
because I can sort of see like working the uh, bodies of the animals like they worked the trunks of these trees. Like, because it's not entirely round, yet from a distance it has the appearance of roundness, of, of being cylindrical. So, that'd be interesting. Because, just with the way animals are, there's no way to get, uh, that I can really think of, to get the animals to look as realistic as the foliage and the plants do from a distance. It's going to be something interesting, an interesting problem for them to work out. See, these to me look like they are ready to harvest. Like, these, these are good crops. And from a distance, they are totally, totally believable. I heard before we can't really harvest them. Raw material, collected, craft. Yeah, because we took them out and... Oh, oh, this is the make menu. Huh. But nothing's really in there yet. That's sad. But, because when we, like, harvested them or took the... Whoa! Oh, I, I exited out of the game accidentally, but they didn't enter our uh, menu. But anyways, uh, I think I'm going to end my little review thing of uh, Virtual Earth there. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one, so bye-bye!